Welcome to Tech Brother Zamir. In this video, we are going to answer this question. You are given a task that cannot be done in built on activities in Azure Data Factory. What are your options to perform that task? Now, there could be possibilities or scenarios that might come when you are creating your pipelines. And you will stuck in somewhere like, hey, how I do this? And there is no activity available. In those cases, we have some difficulty here. And all those difficulty can be solved by using Azure functions because the Azure functions give you opportunity to write your own code and that's like in SSIS if you remember that we've been using a script task and wherever we got stuck with the given activities and we cannot perform the task we always go and grab the script task in SSIS in the Azure Data Factory now this can call the Azure function so Azure function is a service in Azure that you can use uh, to write your own code uh, and in uh, when you have the opportunity to write your own code uh, you can uh, do so much uh, and uh, whatever you want to achieve uh, you can do that uh, the Azure functions uh, they will be written uh, by using different languages such as uh, you can use .NET C sharp uh, you can use Python you can use Java you know and there are other um, you know multiple uh, languages available uh, that you can use uh, to write your Azure function uh. now once you write a Azure function and uh, publish it and all then uh, what you can do here you can call the Azure function in uh, Azure Data Factory and I have seen many scenarios uh, where people have written uh, Azure functions uh, uh, by using uh, you know C sharp or even Java and then uh, they were calling those Azure functions uh, inside the Azure Data Factory and uh, once uh, they are done with that specific task uh, that cannot be done in Azure Data Factory they call uh, this function uh, and uh, let it run on completion they will go to the next activities and keep going so your answer Azure function is the solution in cases that you cannot perform those tasks inside the Azure Data Factory given activities you can always write your own code by using Azure functions and then call them in Azure Data Factory and run them I hope this video is helpful and please subscribe my channel see you guys in next video